David Anderson has walked into a dialysis clinic 2,300 times since 1999. He comes four times a week for hours while a machine does what his kidneys should, remove toxins from his blood. It is a very time-consuming experience and when my treatment today is finished, I'm going to be uh, tired. Uh, not a whole lot will get done tonight. So over the course of the last few years, we've advanced the membrane technology, we've developed the cell engineering, and currently we're in animal testing. Bioengineer Shuvo Roy is developing an implantable bioartificial kidney. Artificial kidney would look like, it consists of two units, the hemofilter that would perform the functions of filtration, and then the cell bioreactor that would perform the other biological functions. It would go in the same place as a donor kidney. David's doctor, Linda Frasetto, says the need is critical. This would allow us to build kidneys and then we could just put them into people. I mean, really, it would just be a totally astounding thing for us to be able to do that. David agrees. I would uh, participate in uh, trials or get an artificial kidney uh, this evening if uh, that were available. I'm Marty Salt reporting.